Improving web browsing is a complex subject. This is a long video. It's broken up into sections. You can see the outlines of these sections here. Section 1. Intro. Security is all about making do with what you got. But sometimes the deck is stacked against you. For example, Google Chrome is currently the most popular web browser. Google heavily influences web standards. Google funds the development of Chrome. Google controls the design of Chrome. Google controls the implementation of Chrome. The end result is a browsing experience that implements Google's agenda. No matter how you use or configure Chrome, it never really deviates from that agenda. It's always Google's browser. Most modern browsers advance a tightly focused corporate agenda. Usually no amount of configuration can bend the browser from its original agenda. The exception is Firefox. Firefox just can't make up its mind. Firefox drifts from one objective to another objective. Sometimes they favor an advertising agenda. Sometimes they favor a privacy agenda. Sometimes functionality is uppermost, but sometimes the primary goal is security. This indecision and flexibility provides opportunity to bend Firefox to other agendas. In this video, I suggest ways to advance a privacy and security agenda. This may not be your agenda, but by following along, you can learn techniques to advance your agenda. This guide was created in June 2019. It was based on Firefox Quantum version 68.0. Section 2. Mental Preparation. Mental preparation is critical in any security issue. So you should ask, how much do I value my privacy? How much am I willing to work for privacy? When does it make sense to trade other goals for privacy? When does it make sense to trade privacy for other goals? Then, if you have motivation, you can seek to understand and improve. Section 3. Install browsers. If you wish to harden Firefox, your first step is to install Chrome. This is not a pitch for Chrome. It appears that Chrome will always steal privacy. Belief in a best browser binds you to insecurity. Web browsing is a world of conflicting goals and, and agendas. A browser that protects your security will fail on a site that attacks security. We are better off with multiple tools and multiple options. So, download and install Chrome from Google. The Debian family of Linux users should install the Chromium package. You run Chrome and make sure it's working, but don't allow Chrome to be the default browser. Next, download and install Firefox from Mozilla.org. Run Firefox and make sure it's working and set Firefox to be the default browser. Then, if we must use a site that attacks privacy or security, it's better to temporarily use Chrome than to weaken our default protections. 
Section 4. Install privacy enhancing browser extensions. This guide only installs two privacy extensions. You are free to try additional ones if you like. To install them, bring up Firefox, go to the upper right hand corner and click on the menu button and select preferences. Under the preferences screen, go down and select the extensions page. Here you can see the two extensions installed. Adding them is fairly easy. You click in the extension search bar and type their name. The name of the first one is EFF Privacy Badger. You want the one that has over half a million users. Click on it and then read the description. Once you're satisfied, you scroll back to the top and click on install. Adding the next one is just as easy. Its name is uBlock Origin. In the search results, you want the one that has four and a half million users. Click on uBlock Origin and read its description. And when you're satisfied, scroll back to the top and click on install. Section five, configure Firefox preferences. Firefox has many preferences. This is good, it makes it adaptable. Unfortunately, default Firefox is a bit lowest common denominator. You can improve your privacy and security by changing some things. We begin by bringing up Firefox, clicking on the menu button, and selecting preferences. The preferences are organized in several pages. We'll begin with the general page. Under startup, make sure Firefox is currently your default browser and make sure it always checks if Firefox is your default browser. Under language, you should unselect Check your spelling as you type. This is a privacy change. Under Downloads, select Always Ask You Where to Save Files. This is a security change. In Applications, scroll this back and forth until you find Portable Document Format, or PDF. This one should be set to Preview in Firefox. The rest of them should be set to always ask. This is a security change. Under Digital Rights Management or DRM, you should unselect Play DRM Controlled Content. This is also a security change. DRM is an officially sanctioned backdoor, but it's still somebody else's backdoor. DRM is usually bad for you but changing the setting will probably kill Hulu, Netflix, and Crunchyroll. So you'll need to switch to Chrome on those sites when you need an anime fix. Next, look at the Firefox updates and make sure you're getting updated. You should be at or beyond version 68.0. Under browsing, unselect search for text when you start typing, recommend extensions as you browse and unselect recommend features as you browse. These are all privacy changes. On the home page, unselect top sites, unselect recommended by pocket, and under the highlights heading, unselect everything except bookmarks. These are all privacy changes. On the search page, under the search bar heading, select Add Search Bar and Toolbar. You might gain a little privacy by segregating your browsing from your searching. Use the address bar for your browsing. Use the search bar for your searching. Under Default Search Engine, select DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is the only search engine that respects your privacy. Unclick Provide Search Suggestions, 
show search suggestions and address bar and show search suggestions ahead of browsing history. Under one click search engines only select DuckDuckGo. There are a lot of settings under the privacy and security page. Unfortunately many of them are set to non-private and insecure. Under content blocking, select strict. This is both a privacy and a security improvement. And select send websites that do not track signal always. Under cookies and site data, select delete cookies and site data when Firefox is closed. This is a privacy and security improvement. Under logins and passwords, unselect save logins and passwords for websites and unselect use a master password. Your password should not be controlled by your web browser. Instead, keep them in a password manager that is external to your web browser. KeyPass is a good example. Under forms and autofill, unselect autofill addresses. This is a security improvement. Under history, select use custom settings and then tell it to always use private browsing mode. This is a privacy improvement. Under address bar, tell it to only suggest bookmarks. This is both privacy and security. Under permissions, inspect each one of these four settings and make sure they're set to block new requests. And then set the rest. These are all security changes. Under Firefox data collection and use, clear everything. This is both a privacy and a security improvement. Under security, block everything. This is a security improvement at the cost of some privacy, but the security improvement should be worth it, or is usually worth more than the privacy you lose. Under certificates, tell it to ask you every time when a server requests your personal certificate. That's a security change. And then unselect query OCSP responders. This is a major privacy improvement at the cost of some illusionary security. The OCSP responders are a poorly designed system. They're a major privacy leak. On the other hand, the CA infrastructure is mostly security theater. Almost nobody who gets compromised admits to their security lapses, and even when they do, they rarely do the extra work of revoking their exposed certificates. And the CAs have little motivation to timely update revocation lists. Section 6. Configure Firefox using the about colon config interface. Open up a new Firefox window and in the address bar type about colon config. Firefox warns you that there is risk. Accept the risk and you'll see a list of options, a very long list. There is risk here. Firefox hides these things away because when you change one of these things, you break websites in unexpected ways. But it's not about absolute compatibility web with websites. If you have absolute compatibility, you have no privacy and no security. The real question is, does the improvement, is the improvement in privacy and security worth the broken functionality. And you'll have to decide that for yourself. Make a record of every change you make here. You may later have to unchange it if you decide it's not worth it. 
We'll begin by disabling the HTML5 WebRTC service. This stops websites from discovering your true IP when you use a VPN. So click in the search bar and type media.peerconnection.enable. That shows a single line. Double click on this and change it to false. That's a privacy improvement. Next, we're going to disable the old weak encryption defaults. This stops man in the middle attackers and others from stealthily changing you to ineffective encryption. Search for Security Star DES. That again brings up a single line. Double click on it and change it to false. This is a security improvement. Next, search for tls.version.min. Double click on this one and change it to 3. Next, search for security.ssl.require safe negotiation. That should bring up a single line. Double click on it and change it to true. Finally, search for security.ssl dot treat unsafe negotiation is broken double click on this one and change it to true these are all security improvements we can improve both privacy and security by enabling encrypted DNS DNS is one of the oldest protocols on the internet DNS is normally in unencrypted Default DNS is quick and usually reliable, but many take advantage of DNS's naive approach to security. For example, man-in-the-middle attackers intercept and alter DNS queries to impersonate servers. Sensors intercept and control DNS queries to impose censorship. Surveillance monitors DNS to track people and their internet activities. Many of these groups are well-intentioned, but virtually all of them impose their will on you without your knowledge or permission. You can bypass most of these attacks against web DNS by utilizing encrypted connections to trusted servers. You are still at the mercy of that server, but you get to choose who to trust. To start, let's click in the search bar and type TRR. This brings up several settings. Click on network.trr.mode. Change it to 3. 3 means only do web DNS over HTTPS. Fail if you can't reach the secure DNS server. If your web DNS starts failing, it means either your chosen secure server is sick, which is unlikely with Cloudflare, or you are under attack. Two means first try encrypted DNS, but if there's problems, fall back to normal DNS. This sounds nice, but it lets attackers invisibly force you back to vulnerable DNS. One means let Firefox pick whichever is faster, and zero means disable DNS over HTTPS. Next, check the value of network.trr.uri. The default setting is shown here, it's Cloudflare. Cloudflare should be a good, robust private server, but if you wish, you can change it to another DNS over HTTPS server. Finally, click on network.trr.bootstrap address. If you're using Cloudflare, then you should change this to 1.1.1.1. This IP address is used to make sure you get to the secure DNS server, even if somebody is already tampering with normal DNS. 
If you choose to use an alternative to Cloudflare, you should put their IP address here. Firefox temporarily stores your activity. This speeds up web browsing. But remote sites test for this info and discover your browsing history. In this case, choosing privacy will slow down your browser, but this should be your choice. If you choose privacy, then search for browser.cache.disk.enable. Double click on this line and change it to false. Then search for browser.cache.disk underscore cache SSL. Double click on this one and change it to false. Finally, search for browser.cache.offline.enable and double click on this one and change it to false. Sites can also just directly request your physical location. To regain this bit of privacy, search for geo.enable. Double click on it and change it to false. Web browsers now have the ability to do voice recognition and speech synthesis. This is nice if you're handicapped, but it can come as an unpleasant surprise if you realize that a remote website is carrying on a conversation with your Alexa, or if you find that remote websites have been storing and collecting accurate transcriptions of everything you say while you're at the, that website. If you don't need these capabilities, you can improve your privacy and security by going to media.webspeech. This brings up several things you should make sure they're all set to false. Sites identify and track you by fingerprinting your mouse and keyboard activity. You can rega regain some of this privacy by going by searching for privacy dot resist. This brings up several things you should, you should make sure they're all set to true though the log well level should probably remain at worn. And the timer precision microseconds, I'm not sure about that. The bigger the value, the more privacy you've got, but it's going to impact your browsing in other ways. Finally, remote sites track and identify you by fingerprinting your other browser behaviors. To re regain this bit of privacy, search for telemetry, that brings up a long, long list, about a page. Ignore all of the numbers and the non-Boolean values and set everything to false, except for you may wish to enable the privacy tracking protection.